Tina, if you could excuse your broke ass, we got some business to take care of. Oh, oh, oh. All right, yeah, yeah, oh. hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 stay still for a sec. No way I'm hurt. I right, know, it's fine. Oh my I'll God. be fine, guys. I'll be fine. GG. Some broke boy hurt me. Oh my God. Brace yourself. If you're walking in here for the first time, brace yourself. Go on in. Mm, pretty nice. Huh? Holy shit. Uh, I can give you a tour first, and then we can like talk about like the actual semantics of how it operates. Yeah, yeah. So we got two, uh, two roulette tables. Pretty nice. Uh, and one blackjack table. Uh, but the blackjack would not be run by us it would be run by uh, this guy named dick chicklets and that's because mm -hmm. uh when when we first moved to los santos we were both running shit out of our apartment and he was saying like he was expressing like he's like damn Mark marty you got it good bro you got like a whole house like you could do this you could do that like i i gotta close this shit down you know so i felt bad and i'm like yo like your blackjack shit just run it and run it at the place and it's exclusively mm -hmm. open when you're around so uh, yeah this will be like his little section you know so we don't gotta really worry about this on a business part Right. Yeah. And then Shit. this is the cashier. Have you seen this before already, Gigi? Uh, a little bit, but not too much. This is the cashier. Uh, basically, mm. you would deposit your money here because we use digital chips. Or you mm -hmm. would sign up for the first time and buy like a member ID, which uh, I can show you. Um, member ID is yeah. just like a SIM card. Like that. Or like, oh, okay. Or like that. Yep. Mm. And uh, you use that to sign up. And like uh, if you plug that into your phone, you would have like a text from the 404 number. Right, so Harry's number. That's why I was obsessed with it. Mm -hmm. And they'd be like, yo, like sign up here. This, this, that. This is the instructions. Ba da ba da ba. And then you get signed up and everything. Get member account. And then, yeah. Oh, shit. So, okay. But downstairs okay. is like, downstairs is like for like management only. You know what I'm saying? Right. Come, come. It's not done. It's not done. But uh, I just gave up on doing it for now because I got bored. <laughs> so ideally, this is the oh, fucking garbage. God damn it. This is the, the, the meeting room. I uh, ignore this. This is not right. But yeah, this mm -hmm. is the meeting room. You know what I'm saying? Board meeting or whatever the fuck. Someone has to get fucking fired. Someone stole from us. We're going to fucking kill him. We got to talk about it right here. Mm. Holy shit. Pretty cool, right? Big ass table. Looks fucking amazing. Yeah. And then this is like a... This is like CEO office. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Okay, 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 okay. Cheers. And then you burn... You see, you see this? I burn some money every now and then. Because some people in this city, they're so poor that that's the only thing that they have. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So I burn some money. Humble myself. That's right. I'm humble. I keep it real. Damn, That's right. Okay. And then everything in here is just like, uh, probably just for like storage and shit. I haven't really done anything. I just had the bench in here and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. It's basically like unused space, you know? But yeah. This is fucking nice, man. It's pretty cool, right? It's pretty you decorated cool. decorated all this yourself? Nah, just the downstairs. The upstairs was uh, Sydney Loon. He's crazy. Okay, okay. This came out so good. Job. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty fucking nice. All right, so I'm going to... I'm gonna run you guys by like how it would work as a player and a dealer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, like I said before, like a million times, there's a website, right? Now, as a player, if you don't want to, you don't have to use the website ever. The only time you would ever have to use it is signing up. And the reason why you have to sign up is because if you want to enter any car raffles, you'd have to use it on there, uh, or you know, or talk to someone that works here. Uh, mm -hmm. If you want to see your casino balance at the time when you're playing, you could look. And the bets that the dealer's making, you want to see that, you can look, right? Um, and, as well as like rewards, because there's like a reward system, right? The more you wager, the more you gamble, the more rake back you get and shit like that. And it'd be like giveaways and stuff like that. Like I want to give away a house, depending on how the, what the casino does. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, right, right. Uh, but if you did want to use it while you're playing, right? Um, unfortunately, right, if I throw things or money on the table... Right, like let's say I'm trying to bet $50 on the number eight right here. Boom, I could put it right there and it looks fucking fantastic, right? But if I oh, take, shit. Luciano, take another 10 bucks and throw it on the number 29 or the number 17, whatever number, throw it on there. Uh, 29, there you go. Yeah, now you see how the, this table's a little rocky so the money slides right over, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. So un so unfortunately, we we have digital money because of that because if people were throwing money on on the table and stuff or chips or whatever you know belonging there's not really a good seamless way to do it so this is like the compromise you feel me right right so no, i like that yeah so i'm, I'm sure so, like down the line you know if things go well like we can get like a sturdy fucking table and things will be a lot smoother in that regard but for now what, what people would do is they'd walk in if they're already a member and they would go to either a dealer or a cashier and hand them be like yo like here's 5k deposit into my account boom it's in your account all right. And if you wanted to play, you could either sit here and not have to worry about the website at all, or you could pull it up and bet a fuck ton. Right. 
because uh, the way we do it is you kind of like announce your bets, right? So you'd be like, yo, like put a hundred dollars on, uh, on black, right? Easy done. You know, dealer, dealer puts the bet down for you. But if you're a degenerate, right? And a good example would be um, like Buddha. Uh, a while ago, I've seen him bet on like probably 30 out of the 36 fucking numbers on this table. You know what I'm saying? And if you're right. telling the dealer, put a thousand on one, put a thousand on two, put a thousand on three, put a thousand on four, put a thousand on five, you're going to, you, everyone, everyone's going to go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So yeah. on the website, you can place and request the bet to the dealer. You know what I'm saying? Nice, nice. So, okay. so if you guys want to pull it up and log in, uh, I said I emailed it to you. I, I would let you sign up, but unfortunately, um, there's a little issue with the sign up where the where like the client side for you would crash for like two minutes, and I don't want you to just stand there for two minutes, mm -hmm. you know, empty-handed. So uh, log in, and you have no problems uh, um, looking at it directly. You know what I'm saying? There's no issues yeah, with yeah. that. You're good. And then uh, when you're both logged in, let me know, and then we'll, we'll go through it together. Uh, is there a link somewhere or? Oh shit! Sorry, it's four o four dot game mm -hmm. and four zero four. Sorry, not four o. Oh shit! There it is. Ooh. Uh, and by the way, the website is a little tiny bit ugly, but I'm just working on. We're working on pushing it, and then working on how it, it looks uh, visually afterwards. Yeah, of course. But I think it looks good enough. Like it's not like it's like uh, terrible. You yeah, know, it just it just needs to be functional right now. Yeah, exactly. Oh shit! All right, okay. I see this now. It tells you like who's who's active and all that. You're, ah, you're logged nice. in, right? Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. So you see on the top left, it says like "Welcome back." It says your name, how much money you got. The mm -hmm. tickets is like for raffle. Um, if you want, you can click on raffle, but there's no information right now. Uh, but basically, right. like has like a timer. You could buy uh, tickets with uh, balance, or you could contact. It would like have like a list of people that would be able to add tickets uh, for the user, right? And nice, nice. Rewards is uh, not, that's a system that's coming after launch. Where like, you know, mm -hmm. I was saying before, like the more you wager, the more benefits you get and stuff like that. Uh, upgrade just shows you a list of like your member tier. Cause it's not just a member. You could be a member, a VIP or a founder. Right? I think GGI gave you VIP and then Luciano, I gave you founder. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. the reason for those tiers is you would get like cheaper, like raffle tickets, uh, better, like you, you would rank up in your reward thing faster and stuff like that. Right. And then there's also deposit and withdraw. Like if you wanted to deposit before you showed up or whatever, like you're about to fucking gamble um, and you don't want to just show up and like go through the hassle. If there's like a long line or some shit, you could do it through the system. And then if you click on roulette uh, and refresh, there should be a, a table. You see it? Yeah, it says ask to join. Yep. Okay, Gigi, I'm just going to throw you in. Uh, and then, yep, yep. and then Luciano, you request, okay? Okay. Oh shit, that's clean as fuck. You see that? Yeah. How I just, Damn, okay. I just threw you guys in right away. You don't have to nice. refresh, nothing okay. like that. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some money both for both of you on red, and uh, I'll just do it by myself, right? And you don't have to mm -hmm. worry about shit. You could just watch it, all right? Okay. Okay. So boom, 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 uh, bet, and then. Also, what the hell? See that? Pretty cool, right? And then mm. I'm gonna close bets, and I'm gonna have you guys win and look at your balance and shit like after the round starts and all that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see at the bottom left it says the bets. Yeah, 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 hundred dollars each. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right now, like the way it looks is not the best, but you know it's it's good enough. You know what I'm saying? Plus, like I said, you don't have to you don't have to be using the website to be sitting at the table here, right? So if you show up like a thousand bucks and you're like, fuck it, I just want to see if I can double my money, thousand bucks on black. You literally just hand the money to the dealer. Like, boom, thousand bucks on black. They'll just do it instantly. You don't have to worry about the website, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does the dealer use the website yeah. to make so guest like, users this like is that? Like, this is, sorry, I should have explained that. I'm sorry. This is like oh, their right. panel. So when they're clocked in, mm -hmm. like, this is how we measure how much they get paid. This is how right. we measure that they're actually doing shit. Like, they have to use this, but no one else that's playing has to at all if they don't want to. It's optional. Got it. And obviously, you can't play unless you're here. You know what I'm saying? Technically... Mm -hmm. Technically, it could happen, but like I'm not. I don't want that to be a thing. I think that's a little lame. You know? Yeah. The point yeah. of the website isn't to make things digital. It's to make things seamless using digital uh, access. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so let me close the bets and then uh, have you guys win, so you could see everything like update and shit like that. Boom. Close bets. Fourteen. Boom. Boom. Winner. Cool, right? Okay. So yeah. So just did that instantly. Nice. Yeah. Like it calculates it for you. And now, like in my admin panel, right? Which if you guys like helped me and like we're like. You know, like help me in whatever you wanted to. You'd be able to see that, right? You could literally see the mm. like, oh, at this time on this day, Marty Banks just dealt a um, hundred bucks on red to Luciano and GG. They both won. They both got paid out this much. Full, full, full logs of every single thing that happens. So uh, for bookkeeping, right. it's it's pretty fucking easy. Damn. Okay.
Nice, yeah. nice, nice. So what do you guys think? I love that. I fucking love it as well. I mean, it's it's like the whole digitalized and it, it's really smooth, you know. And it, mm-hmm. I think people are gonna fucking love this shit, to be honest. Yeah, I mean that's the goal. It's just um, I, sometimes I wish I didn't have to use the website. It's just kind of like that little like middle middle ground where you have to like yeah make it as least digital as possible, but also for convenience, just uh, have that option. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I think I think that's good. Like you said, for tracking everything, um, that way on your end you can just leave people to run this. You don't have to sit there and breathe down their necks. You know, you just track it there. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, so that so here's the thing, right? That's why it took me so long. The website uh, had to be completed and everything had to be, you know, 100% foolproof in terms of like protection mm-hmm. and like making sure people aren't being hacked because a lot of people uh, in this house and, you know, just around the city, they might see your phone and try to website, uh, try to sign up on the website and stuff. You know, there's a lot of a lot of mm-hmm. systems that that make sure everything is tight knit. Um, yeah. So that everything on that side is is like 99.9% ready. It's just that this casino cannot operate uh, with one person managing it. So I need all the help I can get. Right. And ideally, I would like to have like a CEO that like handles it like on a day-to-day basis because I don't want this mm-hmm. to be like my life. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So, you, so you're looking to hire in people to manage. Yeah. And hiring not people, have to do much. Hiring people to manage, hiring people that can get dealers. Uh, in terms of security, I already mm-hmm. got Desmond Wright. Uh, he owns 10% of the, the business. Uh, the, 90, the ni- remaining 90% goes to me. Um, but in terms of profit for the casino... For the first uh, bit, most of the money is going to be going back to the investors till they get uh, their money back. That was the promise. Right, right. Unless, so <laughs> here's, a, here's something I wanted to bring up with you guys. I don't know what you guys think. Um, I think it's pretty scummy, but I mean, I don't know. It's just everyone's call. Mm-hmm. So I have contracts with all these investors and there's legislation. And I guess people haven't re- read the le- legislation recently where all contracts are voided uh, because with it if they right. weren't if they weren't signed off by a lawyer or judge or whatever within 14 yeah. days and mm-hmm. nobody really hit me up and i'm i'm down to to go and call every single one of them up and make sure that they you know we redo that contract but if you guys are in the business of saying fuck you it is what it is uh we can talk about it but uh it's it's not my first choice tell me mm-hmm. okay <laughs> but uh yeah, yeah. Um, uh, i i think it's a pretty bad idea in the sense that like if that were the case then everyone would come here and just fucking shoot up this bitch every every now and then you know yeah, yeah put probably. a stain on your name as well, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Your 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 business is like your 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 word means a lot when it comes to business. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You, you don't want to stain that. Okay. Yeah, okay. exactly. Perfect. I'm glad we're on the same page here, then. Uh, but yeah, uh, I would love to have this thing up and running. It just if if you tell me that I have to go by myself, hire dealers, make sure it's running, make sure it's good, watch here, make sure everything nothing goes wrong. Uh, you know, do the accounting, pay people out fairly, this this that. Like, I'm gonna go fucking insane. I won't be able to think yeah. about anything else ever. You know what I'm saying? So if I have people next to me helping me set it up, beautiful, you know? Got you, got you. Okay. Because yeah. uh, down the line, like theoretically, this business can operate 24-7 without me or any of us here. You know what I'm saying? Like dealers could just walk in, kind of like Senior Buns. You know what I'm saying? That, that was the goal. With Senior Buns, there's not really any upper management that are there on your ass uh, 24-7, right? You kind of just go in and it's in good faith that you work there. And then if you do anything wrong, you get fired. Right. Yeah. So like it, it runs like that, but obviously I want it not to be open 24 seven and I want it to be monitored to make sure everything goes smoothly. And uh, yeah. So what do you guys think? Okay. So you don't have any like dealers right now, right? You only have the security team. Uh, no, I have a list. No, no dealers. I have a list of people that were interested uh, with Cassie, Cassie cupcake. Oh, she hasn't been around in a bit. Uh, so I can mm, grab that. Okay. From her. Mm. Yeah, I yeah. think, I think that's number one, right? Just having someone with you who can hire well, who can be good at picking people out for this kind of thing. Yeah, good recruiters for sure. Yeah, that's always step one. Uh, yeah, and, and here's the th- what I was thinking for like hiring dealers. It wouldn't be more so like an interview, other than the fact that like, because for for a dealer, I kind of want anyone to have the chance. It's just that I have two requirements: um, being able to like use the website like fluently mm-hmm. and dealing, as well as good energy, right? So when I were my plan was like if when I interview people, uh, hopefully with like someone else that can like actually like organize everything. Um, basically, I make sure that they're good energy and not fucking boring and then instead of like an interview it'd be more like a training session and seeing who's qualified and who's fit for it right because there's just some people that Mm. really can't multitask for whatever reason you know like their own reasons which which is fair it's just that like there's kind of like a little requirement there you know what i'm saying yeah 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 absolutely so yeah well i Uh, like it damn okay whole ass operation i mean you got you got one of the hardest uh things out of the way which is the house and uh setting everything up i think uh it's all downhill from here you know right hiring the uh the right people 
Well, no, uphill. <laughs> well, a little bit of both, but I think uh, the establishment <laughs> was definitely, and the website, uh, was definitely uh, something you had to overcome, right? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Uh, it just that, I, like, I have trouble with making, like, the, um, the timeline. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, so we're going to hire people first, train these people, make sure the security team, we're going to pick these hours to mm. open up. Like, I'm not good at this timeline. So if that's something, like, you guys can help me and, like, we can, like, all figure out, like, like the blueprints of, like, how we move forward with this. You know, everything else is ready. Right. Yeah, I'm down. Uh, I, I love this shit, to be honest. I, uh, yeah. you know, hit me up, count me in for whatever meetings you want uh, to, you want to, you want to, you, you want to make. And, uh, you know, let's see, let's see what we can do with this. This is a great idea. Okay. Yeah, I'm down to sit around, help with, uh, you know, the logistics on that. Any, any like roadmap planning kind of stuff you need. And also, I don't think I told you, but um, these types of systems and things, I used to do a lot of this back in Liberty City. Um, for work really i did i did a lot of deeper tech stuff things with data but i also did stuff like this so if you need help with ui ux or anything just just let me know uh, damn okay okay but yeah. um Got you. so like my question is like how involved do you want to be because the whole plan was like when lang approached me uh about like the whole group thing like we we help each other's businesses this this that i was like this is perfect because it would be sick if this wasn't my casino it was our casino you know and especially because mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you guys know Lang too, too well. I know Luciano, you, you've seen it firsthand. That guy has had very, uh, like a fuck ton of successful businesses, you know, like yeah. Yeah. anyone, anyone, everyone in the city can agree. Like when it comes to business, like he's one of the best, if not the best, right? Like he used to run the damn show mm -hmm. in terms of business. Um, so as much involvement as you want to be part of it, please like don't be shy to say it, right? And if you want, if you know or uh, or want certain people part of it in upper management or lower management or just a dealer or a cashier whatever it is please please do not hesitate because this is not supposed to be my casino it's supposed to be our casino and and if you don't want any involvement that's okay like i won't be upset about it you know i just want you guys to be fully roped in if you want to be fully roped in you feel me yeah 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 so i mean i'm, I'm really invested in you know like the building out of the site and stuff something I don't know if this is possible. Are we allowed to ever kind of draw up plans for apps for phones and send them to like the government? Will they ever look um, things over and implement them? Is I, that possible? So here's the thing. I, I love the idea of it, but I don't want to get ahead of myself and then uh, give myself mm -hmm. like false hope to any degree. You know, I want to make do with what right, I can. Because right. like a few years ago, uh, you, you usually needed help from the state to get m most business done. But mm -hmm. now we're in an era of where you can get shit done on your own. You know what I'm saying? So I want to get as much right, as I can done. Separate. And then if the mm -hmm. state wants to ever offer any help, I would I would obviously not hesitate to say uh, yes. Yeah, it'd be a plus. Yeah. 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 Makes sense. Yeah. 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 I, I don't even want to discuss it. No, it's a good no mindset. Offense, but like that we have no, opportunity no, no, these days totally to, fine. To, to run this shit up. No problem. You know? Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. Yeah, that's true then. Okay. So yeah. What are you guys thinking? I like it. I would like to spend time with it for sure um yeah me too it just depends on what where do we start yeah where do, where do we start what do you what roles do you need phil do you want to do this by roles do you want to have a sort of a council of people that are all equally sitting around talking about it what are you what are you looking for um i mean so with this casino right depending on how much depending on how much is happening which i imagine it will be pretty fucking active um there will be need there will like need to be like most normal business roles right like a cfo a ceo a coo mm -hmm. so if any of those how about this like we just take everyone just takes a data like think about it and then tomorrow we meet up and if you know anyone that can fit one of those roles or if you personally think you can fit one of those roles uh we talk about it then and uh obviously like you no matter what like if you guys want to be we would probably be part of like the council right like the we, right. we sit up meet up uh talk about the business its future plans what we do with the profit uh, in terms of reinvestment investing into another business or or whatnot you know okay yeah, yeah sounds I'm gonna, good i'm gonna, really good I'm gonna to speak to some of our guys you know they, they got their shit that they got to do but uh i think some of them might really like this stuff as well so uh, I'm, I'm gonna let's see if i can talk to them i'll, I'll okay. come back to you right? okay yeah. perfect really and then like reliable people and then in terms of like ceo role i would love to have that fit but um i don't want either of you to take it because it, as a ceo you would need to like this would need to be your life you know what i'm saying right and like you, yeah. you won't really have time that much time to think about anything else, right? Unless you're very, very efficient, which obviously uh, that's what we're looking for. But I don't want to burden you guys with with that. And I, 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 it's not like I'm sure it's not a fucking burden to have that role. But like you guys have your lives, we all have our lives. Um, so if mm -hmm. there is anyone that that you know wants to fucking dig their head into some business shit, 
and get paid a decent amount of fucking money, uh, uh, think about that person because uh, I need a CEO for sure. You know? Okay. Sounds okay. good. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm sure I, we can find somebody I'll, out there. I'll then. talk to some people and see if anyone is interested for sure because I might have a couple people that uh could fit. Okay. Yeah. I love this. I, I can't wait to, for like to, to see people like coming in and out, uh, yeah, having a good time, yeah. fucking dealers, people using the site. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this, this has a lot of potential. I, I'm excited for this shit. Yeah. All right. Yeah, All right. And, and people need a place that they can just go to that's just around for them. You know, like there really isn't that right now. You can go to what senior buns and get stabbed. Yeah. Go to the park and stare at a tree. Like you know, this this is needed. Yeah. I mean, 100. percent So, um, 100. percent Yeah. So, oh yeah. Uh, I guess we just meet up back tomorrow and then we'll talk about it further and see what how we can like uh, build this timeline and move forward with it. Because uh, bro, I'm ready to send yeah. it. This could be a fucking money maker. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Um, wait, Gigi, I don't know if I told you this. I don't know. Actually, mm -hmm. I don't know if I told either of you this. Um, so there's a lot of incentives, obviously, with the casino. Obviously, it being a fucking casino. But one of the things I want to teach all of the dealers is we accept cash. And when I say we accept cash, we don't really ask any fucking questions, right? Unless the mm -hmm. the, the cash we receive is marked, right? Like a mark group six, ca like roll, rolled up bill. That's different. That's a much different story. But if someone hands over rolled bills or wash cash, um, me, you, a dealer, or or the state, I, I would really love to fucking articulate if ever a cop in the future has a fucking problem with that. I would love for them to articulate why it's an issue and why it's our issue. So um, once people see that in, in, in the future and they realize that in the future uh, as a player that they can, mm -hmm. you know, hand over some rolled bills um, or some wash cash, that would be a big incentive for those people. And then once we have all those rolled bills or wash cash... You know, we could probably just throw it in, in that motherfucker over there and, uh, or, you know, our house. And then, boom, we, we clean all that shit and we're chilling. Big, big source. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Me? No, I like that. Um, Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I'd have to, I might know like a lawyer that I could ask about it, but yeah, that's, that's something that's, um, oh, no, really I, good I, I have a, I have question. a legal team hired. They, they, they see it oh, as no issue. Them. They see it as no okay. issue. Damn, yeah. Okay. I mean, possession doesn't seem to be a problem from what I know. Yeah, I mean it's so it in terms of in, in terms of a business, um, it's about its totality, right? So if I have the black fucking market, right? The business model mm -hmm. of it is you can sell whatever you want, right? But ninety nine percent of it is illegal fucking goddamn fucking drugs and this and this and that. That makes it illegal right. because ninety nine percent of it is whatever, right? But if a but if it's a website in a marketplace like uh, um, eBay, right? I hate saying that word, but. Mm. E uh, that that website will have 99% legal things and then every 1% they'll they'll find a little fucking way to to, to sell something that's not supposed to be sold right but that's yeah. not their issue because the totality of it and the and the goal of the website is not for it to be illegal right same way with this casino if we receive 100k and 5k of it is washed cash how the fuck is that our problem if they can even right. prove that it's illegal or obtained illegally you see what i'm saying got you yeah yeah that's as right. long as that's covered you know you have the legal team kind of arguing for that then yeah 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 it's all thought all thought out all planned out i'm genius i'm telling you oh i like that and then what's the plan so let's say you do take in dirty bills for this how do you get it clean where does that go um i would that's why i wanted to like talk to you guys about it uh, like as a group or whatever like i'm debating whether we just throw it in the uh old fart house i mean not old fart mm -hmm. Shit. i mean the mm -hmm. don's the Don's, uh, right. whatever this is, group house, and we run it through that system, or um, or just like hire a team to do it, right? But it also seems a little backwards or like stupid to hire a team to do what we're already doing, you know, just a few doors down. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, at that point, it just produces dirty cash that we have to wash, and our people cleaning it will get a cut. We we might we might be able to just create another pipeline for it, Gigi. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe like redo the numbers yeah. on it in terms of that. Because yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, same same thing that we've always done. Because this is something I was kind of planning for in the future is that people are going to start having their own hustles, and some people will keep that to themselves. Some people will pick that up. And um, I figure, like right now, for example, sales, no one's really doing it. But if you made a GPU for somebody using our resources, right, and sold it to them, we do fifty fifty on sales. So we just make another pipeline like that. If you have a business, you make money through that, and you're kicking up the money from the business. You know, it's it's whatever percent. I can, yeah. I can talk to the guys about that. Yeah. Because that way, that way you don't have to link this business to the entire crew in any, like, significant way other than just choosing to do kick up, you know? That keeps it really, really simple. Yeah, I agree. I agree completely. I think that's a, that's a good way to do it. Um, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, yeah. 
with wash cash if people brought it in uh you know it's one to one no issues we can count that shit up pretty easily uh but if people brought in rolled bills it's a little hard to fucking count up right because it's all rolled up and shit yeah. so you know uh, we would round down a, a little bit just to make it easier for the dealers so they don't have to sit there and try and uh count all that money mm -hmm. right and if and if anyone ever had a problem as a player be like hey i'm pretty sure that's a hundred dollars not 90. you say buddy buddy why don't you go unroll that fucking cash for me here take it back why don't you unroll it for mm -hmm. me and then and then bring it back to me and i'll be like oh shit, sorry sorry take it back it's 90 dollars you're right you know what i'm saying so it's yeah. not no, I think we don't have to uh, we don't have to like uh worry too much about about you know cleaning it ourselves and stuff like that um yeah no that's yeah. good that's good yeah i like it i think it's it's well thought out it needs you know some more planning for the actual robot of of getting it open and operating but like the setup is all good staff that's it yeah yeah go for yeah I, like I would, I would love stuff. all the help I can get. So mm -hmm. we'll talk about it tomorrow, yeah? Yeah, we'll brainstorm and uh, yeah, come back around it uh, for tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to be around early tomorrow. I'll probably be around uh, a little bit later, but I'll give you a call, all right? All right, yeah, just let me know. You all too. Right, all right. Yep. Thanks for showing Same us. Same thing for me. I'll be around later. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, problem. no problem. And if you need me to show anything to anyone else, uh, just let me know and we can just talk about it. Okay? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Sounds all right. good. All right, bye. Yeah, I'll go talk to my people, do the thing, see if anybody's interested, all that. Hey, well, Tony would love this shit, by the way. He probably, I was, yeah, I yeah, was yeah. gonna say he's Tony's gonna love this shit. He would, yeah. he would die over this. He was telling me that Bakrat's his favorite game, and uh, when someone else was running a table, he was sitting there just doing nothing but playing that. <laughs> yeah, that was actually that was, was the same person, the Dick Chicklets person. He was doing both Bakrat and oh, Blackjack. that was him. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, so I know him. him. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah it was good yeah. shit. I gotta go to a doctor. I've been trying to not fucking goddamn yep. uh, scream about my pain. Uh, 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 I my leg really fucking hurts. All right. Uh, I'll see yeah, you guys see tomorrow. You guys. Okay. Take it easy. Yep. All right. Yalla. Bye bye. Now.